My name is Raindrops, if you're new to this channel and if you are a returning drop, welcome back. Today's video is a makeup video and it's going to be a minimalistic video for my ladies in their 40s and 50s. Um, by that standard of how I'm going to apply it, it can actually be for anyone in their 20s and 30s as well. But I'm specifically speaking to my 40s and 50s um, because I just had a birthday last month and I'm closer to 50 than I am to 40. Um, I'm 48, so I don't have a special routine, skincare routine. I don't have problematic skin, um, but I have oily skin uh, right in my T-zone. I just washed my face literally like 15 minutes ago and you can still see the oils peeking through. So I'm just gonna do some makeup for when you wanna be quick and on the go and don't want to do a full beat, just something very quick. So I don't really moisturize. I have a moisturizer. I use Pons from time to time, or I will use my Aveeno um, lotion, just especially during the winter time to combat the dry area that I'll have here. Um, so what I'm going to do for my primer, First off, I'm going to spray my face with the, this is the Maybelline Lasting Fix Spray. And I'm just going to miss my face. I have a fan, but I don't feel like reaching for it. So the next thing I'm going to use while this is drying still. Um, I'm going to use the Balani Prime Shield Face Primer Mattifying Plus Pore Minimizer and it says oil free. It looks silicone based and it feels it but because the writing is so small I'm not fitting to sit here and try to you know read this but um because of the way it feels, like I said, I'm pretty sure that it's silicone based. And already that oil has been toned down. So the next thing I'm gonna do is my brows. Um, when I do my eyebrows, my eyebrows are normally always shaped up. Um, as we know, no eyebrows, set of eyebrows are perfect. They're not twins. They're more like, you know, paternal. Not paternal. Is it fraternal? I think it's fraternal twins. Um, more like cousins, but I got them to match up um, in shape wise as much as I could with this eyebrow carries more hair than this one does, always has. So um, just brush it into place. And also what I'm gonna do oops, is take my Zero, this is Zero Sebum, Sebum. It has rice powder in it and it's supposed to be for oily skin so I'm just gonna dab some of that to further combat the oil. And it does leave a little bit of a white cast, especially if you don't blend it all the way in, which I normally don't because I'm trying to soak up as much oil as possible. And I like to apply it around my smile lines All right, and then the next thing I'm gonna do, like I said, is go ahead and 
do my brows. And I'm gonna use this Avon pencil. It's in dark brown. And I'm just going along the shape of my brow, filling it in. And this is beginner friendly as well. So now the other one is done. I'm just gonna brush through and then I'm gonna clean it up with my um, LA Girl Pro Concealer and Fawn. I am talking through the video may seem a little long um, the, for the process but it's not it's only because I'm taking my time talking to you guys letting you know what to do so I just squirt a bit on the back of my hand and use the same brush that comes with it and clean up my brows You can tell that they look even, so I'm just going to take my um, concealer brush and clean it up. Okay, the eyebrows are all done. And the next thing I'm going to do um, is take my Rock Retinol Eye Cream and apply it under the eyes and then normally um i would use as my concealer the juvia's place um but the last three times and three videos i've shown you guys that i've done a makeup look i've been using the um la girl pro now i started out using that but then um it just seemed to be a little too like thick and cakey for me but since I use the eye cream under it and I use a little bit um, it's not bad it's not bad at all so with the eye cream you don't need that much it literally tells you like this is the small amount but it just seems like sometimes I always have more on one than the other so then I have to go back. So that's what I'm using for that. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and use the remainder. I might have to use a little bit more, but this is the um, LA Girl and Fawn. So yeah, I'm gonna use some for the other eye, so. Sorry, y'all. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit more on the, this eye and then I'm going to put it on my nose and here take this brush I love the point that it has and it gets into the corners of my eyes so I'm just going to spritz it a little bit and then go in and blend that out Now we do want to be quick, but we still want to be blended. Now that that's blended out, I'm going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup um, setting powder and set that. I'm just going to tap a bit, blow it, and set all of my areas. And ladies, if you are in your um, late 30s, 40s, 50s, and you have fine lines, please do not bake. There is not a need for it. You just need to set the concealer in place. The next thing I'm going to 
going to do, and because I want this to be quick and still natural, I am not going to use any liquid foundation. I'm going to go in, well, I have two of these. This is the Fit Me Matte um, and Coilless in 355. Which one is this? Coconut. And then I have the 360 and Mocha. So I can get away with both of these. So I am going to use the mocha. Use my brush. There's nothing else on my face. You can see all of my marks. These are from my dimple rings. That's from like an old breakout. I don't pop pimples and I normally don't get breakouts unless it's that time of the month. And it left a mark. You can fade your marks by using turmeric mask, um, apple cider vinegar. I just haven't done it. This is a birthmark. So, just gonna sweep this across and just dab it on. Basically, just to really control oil. I like to go over my eyebrows as well because it's still basically setting um, them in place. And if it was too dark, it also helps um, lighten the eyebrows to like a natural, natural looking finish. And that's all I'm doing for that. So I'm just going to grab my brush, blending brush. This is what I use to blend and I'm just going to sweep that away. Just blend around my eye section. And that is that. Now my skin looks, you know, mattified. It looks even toned. And that's all. Now, because I don't have any um, primer or anything on my eyelids and eyes, I'm just going to put a little bit. And gonna blend that out you can either use your finger or a brush just to be precise and to get in all of the corners I'm just gonna use the brush to blend it out now again because I want this to look natural I'm going back in with the fit me mat and just dab that in and go right over. And you can see the difference. So as I've seen, all I did was apply concealer to my under eyes, my nose, and um, this area right up under my nose. Put on some powder. That's it, my skin looks you know, healthy. It looks like I have a glow. It looks, you know, basically natural. You can still see my freckles and my little moles and my birthmark. And I have a problem with that. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, because I want a little bit of color in my cheeks and I love blush, is I'm going to apply some blush. And this is the, um, this is the Black Radiance. Artisan color baked blush, and this is in the color raspberry. So I'm just going to apply a little bit on my cheeks. Just for a little bit of color. And right on my nose. Because I'm a sucker for that. And I'm just going to drag it up. So. That's it for the um, for the face. Um, as far as this um, foundation part, you know, or lack of there, lack thereof. Um, now I'm going to I jump out of frame so much for you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm going to apply the um, Essence Last Princess 
mascara. So I'm not doing any any um, eyeliner because I want this look to look as natural as possible. And I have little eyelashes, so let me come in closer for you guys. See the difference? That's all I'm really looking for. Nothing dramatic. Not adding any lashes. I just want to look like I have lashes. And sometimes I like to do that with my brush. I just hold it on the bottom, I mean on the top, and roll it like, um, as if I was literally curling my lashes. So that's for that. I'm not going to apply on my bottom lashes at all. And then my last step, I told you guys this was quick and minimalistic as fuck. Um, is my lipstick so again natural i have on chapstick now so what i'm going to do i'm going to find a lipstick that has like a pinky tone to it but not really red as well it's between red and pink more like a rouge you know color i don't want anything bright i don't want anything too nude or light so Give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay, the lippy that I decided to go with is um, RK Ruby Kisses. This is Forever Matte. So it is like a mauve color and it's called Plum Mood. So I'm gonna move my lip ring. Um, I'm not gonna line my lips as I don't want a makeup look. So. Just gonna dab that here like that and then take my fingers and blend it out now this is a matte lipstick and I just want like a natural flush to the lip And there we, there we have it. So this is my quick go-to minimalistic makeup. You don't have to have a lot. You don't have to do a lot to look put together. So yeah, my puff. So this is the end of the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, if you're new, if you like what you saw, please go hit the subscribe button on your way out. Turn on your notification so you will be notified every time I upload a video. And to all my drops who continue to stick it out with me, much appreciated. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like the video, share it, leave me a comment. Um, I'm pretty pleased with this. Um, this is quick and easy. I'm not taking forever. Um, like this is really very quick. Something you can, you know, jump up for work and do on the way to the store, anything like that. And, you know, call it a day and still look put together without having to go through the whole thing of a full beat. So thanks guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.